Hey guys, guess you know who I am by now, but if you don't, I'm Dave Teen Librarian here at Ashboro Public Library with another book review for you and a couple of updates about what we've got coming up here in the next few weeks. The book I want to review today is Black Dove, White Raven by Elizabeth Ween. Now this book is unlike anything I've read for YA fiction, as I've mentioned. It's got really great characters. It's got a lot of action and adventure. It's got a wonderful tale of romance and also a friendship. First of all, it's set in the 1930s. And it's also set in Ethiopia, or mostly set in Ethiopia. The wonderful thing about this book is that it's so unorthodox and so unusual that it's one of those things that you just can't help but read because you're curious to see where it's going to take you. Now, Elizabeth Wing has written some other really great novels. She wrote Rose Under Fire, so if you've read that, you're familiar. And she's also read Codename Verity, which was the Michael L. Prince Award Honor winner in 2013 and an Edgar Award winner as well. There's biplanes, there's adventure. It takes place in Ethiopia, so a lot of it is in the desert. Um, there's friendship. I can't say enough about this book, except I won't say much about it. What I'd like to do is challenge you to pick up the book and read it. If you don't like it, as always, you can put it back up on the shelf. We don't have any problem with you doing that. But I think that you'll really like this. Everybody should read Black Dove, White Raven by Elizabeth Ween. Get your copy at Ashboro Public Library this summer. Well, guys, we've got some other really great things coming up here in the near future. I've got a list of wonderful events that are going to be happening during summer reading. And I'm going to talk to you just about a few of those right now, but I want to talk to you about summer reading first, and so that's where we're headed. Summer reading, as you know, is the library's program to keep you guys active in reading and paying attention to what's going on at the library while you're taking a school break. Now, everybody I know is looking forward to school being over. 2014-2015 school year was a great success for us as well because we partnered with the school systems to do a lot of different things and we're very excited about that. But we want you to take a break. We want you to take it easy. You don't have to do any assigned reading yet. You can read whatever you want to. You can come to the library and hang out. It's cool. You can read what you'd like. But there are some really cool events that are coming and here are just a few of them for you. John Zopp, our friend who is the comic book artist for Marvel and Star Trek and a few other great media. He's going to be here teaching the first of several comic book drawing classes. Now the actual classes will be held in August and September and there will be five of those and you're going to need to register for them. And I'll have more information about those classes on John's day. Now next video, which will be coming out early June, the Summer Reading Extravaganza video, will have the names and dates everything that's coming, so don't get too upset yet. We're also going to have an Aikido demonstration, a canine demonstration with the Ashboro Police Department, a fire dousing demonstration with the Ashboro Fire Department. Our old friend Bob Langston will be here to talk about conserving green spaces and planting trees and a couple of other really great things coming on. Not to mention 7th Annual Lego Mania, which I know everyone is excited about. I'll be talking more about those in a very special video that's coming up at the beginning of June, so pay attention for those. Now, let's talk a little bit about what summer reading requires. Okay guys, June 1st is right around the corner, and I know that's not the last day of school, but it's only 10 days away from the last day of school. And on June 1st, which is a Monday, you can go online to the Teens page and start to register for summer reading. This is key. If you don't register for summer reading, you can't have any minutes that you log reading during the summer counted towards your total. Go ahead to randolphlibrary.org and click on the Teens page for the link on how to register. Start that on June 1st. You can start reading June 1st if you want, but you don't have to. You can start tallying your reading minutes on June 10th. And summer reading is from June 10th until July 31st this year. I'm going to say more about summer reading, but the most important thing right now is for you to remember to register on June 1st and start logging those minutes. Well guys, we've got about a week left here in May, and May 28th at 5 p.m. is when we're having the Teen Zone Advisory Committee interviews. I've got a couple people signed up. It's going to be real informal. We're going to just have a couple of questions to ask you, find out about the kind of things that you'd like to see, and move the Teen Zone forward in the future. 
uh, this is a pretty big commitment, so if you're not sure you can do it, that's fine, but we'd really like to explore and see the kind of things that you'd like to see happen in the teen zone. Remember, that's May 28th at 5. If you're watching this and it's after May 28th, don't worry, you can still give us a call or email us at teenzone at randolphlibrary.org or call us at 336-318-6819 and we can set up an interview for you. Well, you know that we had Skyhound this last week and that was a really awesome success. Please stay tuned, come back, watch more of our vlogs. Like I said, we have a very special June vlog coming up. If there's a book that you would like me to review, or if there's something that you would like me to mention or talk about in the video, remember you can always send us an email at teenzone at randolphlibrary.org.